And today is going to be a quite, active, quite an active day. This is just the first round of severe weather that we're dealing with, but we do have a tornado warning until 7 o'clock. So for the next 30 minutes, this is for folks in southern Onondaga County, northern Cortland County. Heavy rain, lightning, uh, rotation within this storm is indicated hail as well. Tornado warning, a warning means you need to take action now. We do have a tower cam view. Unfortunately, it is dark because the sun is not up yet. These could be the most dangerous storms. I know a lot of people like to sleep in on the weekends. Uh, if you do have a friend, you are up, there's the lightning. If you do have uh, friends that live in Tully, in Fabius, in Spafford, Atisco, Lafayette, uh, zoom in a little bit more. We'll get a little closer of a view. Where you see those purples, that's where the storm is the most, uh, that's the strongest portion of the storm. That's where we're seeing that rotation on the radar. It's not, we don't have con confirmation of a tornado on the ground. It is indicated on radar. That's what prompted the National Weather Service to issue this warning and to continue to extend it into southern Onondaga County until 7 o'clock this morning. So Cayuga, you're still under a tornado warning. Southern Cayuga County, Northern Cortland County, Southern Onondaga County, we're talking at Tisco, Spafford, uh, even Lafayette. If you have to, if you're planning on being on the roads, uh, 81 South, I avoid. would avoid. I would wait until at least 7 o'clock this morning. So for the next half hour, uh, that's what we're looking at. This, that's how long this warning does continue until. Uh, South Onondaga, find your safe spot now. We need to be in the basement. We need to be away from windows. We need to be in the innermost portion of our home. Uh, if you have kids, if you have friends in this area, you need to wake them up. Uh, they will thank you. <laughs> Even though it's early right now, we need to be in our safe spots. We need to make sure everyone is in their safe spots too. And make sure you have ways to get those alerts, to track the radar so that if you are in your basement, away from a TV possibly, have your phone, have a tablet, have a charger with you uh, so you can make sure you stay updated. We will stay with you until this warning does expire, uh, whenever it does. Right now, the current warning is in effect for the next half hour. And again, that's for Southern Onondaga County uh, for extreme northern Cortland County, so just to the north of Preble. Uh, we're talking about Tully, we're talking about uh, Apulia Station, we're going up 81 through Lafayette. You guys are under a tornado warning until 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, South Onondaga in particular, this is right on your doorstep, so make sure you have your safe spot, make sure you have the basement. We are seeing some hail, some damaging winds have been reported with this system uh, in the past. It has moved through Ledyard, uh, Venice, uh, even down towards Dundee earlier this morning, just before six o'clock. Uh, and we are getting reports of trees down on roadways. Another reason not to be on the roadways this morning. If you do have to head out, I would suggest waiting another half hour at least. This is continuing to push to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. And Lindsay, you mentioned strong winds, some hail, but mm -hmm. thunder and lightning is definitely rolling on through right above our studio right, right. Now. And even if you are under, there are no severe thunderstorm warnings right now, but even when thunder roars, we go indoors, right? We know that we don't say it just because it rhymes. We say it because it's the safe thing to do. So when you uh, see, see lightning, you hear thunder, you need to be uh, inside. Taking a look at the radar, where are things heading? So this continues to push to the northeast. Again, we saw this originally start out in Steuben, uh, Seneca County, near Hector, Dundee, uh, Lod Lodi, Ledyard. You guys already dealt with this, so you are in the clear for the time being. But we are going to see more severe weather potentially for this afternoon as we still have a cold front, a strong cold front to our west. So this is continuing to track to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So we zoom in again. This pink polygon is the center of attention this morning. You may be noticing rain. You may be hearing some thunder and lightning this morning. We do have thunderstorms pushing through. 
Uh, we have some rain, some rain pushing in through Brewerton, Amboy, Vienna, Canastota. But right now, you guys are not of a main concern, so you don't need to take shelter quite yet. But keep eyes on this cell as it continues to track to the northeast. If you are in the city of Syracuse, you are okay right now. You're just dealing with some, uh, some thunderstorms, some heavier rains, some gusty winds potentially. This dangerous cell is located just to the south of you. So we'll loop this through again. Important note too, if you planned on heading out to maybe work or traveling, avoid it. Don't go in the car right now. Probably not the best yes, due to the visibility. Especially 81 south of Syracuse. Uh, if you plan on being in that area, I wait for the next half hour. This is going to cross right over 81 south south of Syracuse is continuing to push to the northeast um, about 40 miles per hour. So the northeast is where we're looking. Uh, even if you're, uh, let's see, South Onondaga, this is where we're seeing uh, the worst of it right now. We see where those purples are, we'll stop the radar. Lord's Corners, this is the area of concern right now. This is continuing to push the, to the northeast. So this morning, I know it's an early Saturday morning. Uh, I know a lot of you might have been awake late last night, but hopefully if you uh, are awake, you are seeing this. If you have friends, if you have family south of Syracuse, uh, be sure to give them a call to wake them up, to notify them that there is a tornado warning in effect until seven o'clock this morning. So for another 25 minutes or so, we will be with you. We will be updating you. We will be uh, tracking this storm. Again, we, aren't, we don't have confirmation of a, radar, of, a radar, of a tornado on the ground. It is radar indicated. By radar indicated, it means we're seeing some rotation with the winds. But that still means you need take to, action. Yes. Find the safe spot in your home, basement. If it's not, if you don't have a basement, bathroom, hallway, try to avoid windows at all costs. Take a look mm -hmm. at this graph right here. Again, hallway, stairs, basement, again, best place to be, but again, avoid all windows, Outside the doors. Walls. Yes, yep. yes. The safest place is your basement. And again, this is early, it's 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday, not uh, a Kids whole lot of people. Kids are probably sleeping in. Right, they're prob probably taking advantage and sleeping in, but you just need to gently wake them up and tell them you need to go to a safe spot for a little while. They can go to back to sleep later, or they can sleep in their safe spot as long as you're with your family uh, in that safe shelter away from the storm uh, to keep you safe for the next half hour at least. And the storm's moving fairly quickly. It is. So we've been uh, talking about the same cell for about, oh gosh, over half an hour, almost an, closer to an hour now. So it is moving pretty quickly. It started out in Stu Bend County. There's a look at our uh, tower camera. Again, the, we can still have severe weather happening at dark, early in the morning, frequent lightning. That's what we have uh, going on in Syracuse right now. Sarah, the city of Syracuse is not in a tornado warning right now. It's just to the south. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be inside taking shelter, being away from windows, frequent lightning, heavy rain, some thunder. Uh, there is no severe thunderstorm warning at the moment, uh, but still there is the potential for some hail within the storm as well. 